Chapters 5 and 6 of Second Corinthians. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Simon Wainwright. The Second Epistle of Paul to the Corinthians. King James Version. Chapter 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God in house, not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so, be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that hath wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the lord wherefore we labor that whether present or absent we may be accepted of him for we must all appear before the judgment seat of christ that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done whether it be good or bad knowing therefore the terror of the lord we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge, that if one died for all, then were all dead, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him which died for them, and rose again. Wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh, yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new, and all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now, then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Chapter 6 We, then, 
as workers together with him beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of god in vain for he saith i have heard thee in a time accepted and in the day of salvation have i succored thee behold now is the accepted time behold now is the day of salvation giving no offence in anything that the ministry be not blamed but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of god in much patience in afflictions in necessities in distresses in stripes in imprisonments in tumults in labors in watchings in fastings by pureness by knowledge by long suffering by kindness by the holy ghost by love unfeigned by the word of truth by the power of god by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and the left by honor and dishonor by evil report and good report as deceivers and yet true as unknown and yet well known as dying and behold we live as chastened and not killed as sorrowful yet always rejoicing as poor yet making many rich as having nothing and yet possessing all things o ye corinthians our mouth is open unto you our heart is enlarged ye are not straitened in us but ye are straitened in your own bowels now for a recompense in the same i speak as unto my children be ye also enlarged be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness and what concord hath christ with belial or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel and what agreement hath the temple of god with idols for ye are the temple of the living god as god hath said i will dwell in them and walk in them and i will be their god and they shall be my people wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate saith the lord and touch not the unclean thing and i will receive you and will be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and daughters saith the almighty end of chapter six recording by simon wainwright